Welcome to 3D Printing Nerd Studios, proudly powered by PCB Way. Link in the description. This is a bag of chips and it's open because I'm in my lunch nook here at the studio space. Look at I've got a refrigerator. I just plugged in my microwave and the time is not correct as it should be. And here is where I get to sit and just kind of relax and eat something, drink something, read something. And I don't have to be over a computer or over a printer doing it. I can actually take some time out. And that's why I've got this bag of chips here. I'm taking a break from some stuff, but oh no, the chip bag is open. If only I had a room of machines that I could fix this with. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to it. When we talk about chip clips, you have many, many to choose from if you'd like to 3D print one. But there was one that I found that actually taught me something. And I found it over on printables. It was called the Kaiser clip. It's a chip clip, but it's named after Kaiser, a German shepherd who was a military dog and was actually the first military dog that was killed in action during the Vietnam War. And I didn't know that. And I know I love dogs. We don't deserve dogs. And I thought it was really interesting to learn something about canine history. And I took a look at the clip and it looks easy enough to print. And that's why I'm standing here next to my Mark III S Plus loaded with Hi-Fi Blue Filament because that's what we're gonna print it out in. For this one, because you need a little bit of strength, I did three perimeters. I did 25% infill, gyroid, because gyroid is, of course, the tastiest infill. Print time, just under two hours, and it looks great. Let's go test it out. Before I put it into use, I really wanted to find out how exactly it works on the inside. It's print in place, but it has two pieces of support material that are already there. They're modeled in. Well, let me show you. Now, this is one that I have taken apart and I took this off. It did involve breaking it, but this piece right here and this piece right here are the removable sports. This is actually a piece of the model that I broke in trying to open it. I can't help but feel partially responsible. On the inside, we can see it's built upon a cam system. So once this opens up all the way, then the mouth can open and clamp around your chips. And then the mouth closes on your chips. And then this lever comes back into place and it holds that mouth in. That's kind of how it works. Now that we know how that works on the inside, let's take one that we printed that isn't broken. One that I didn't have to take apart to show you how it works. And we've got the lever here, we back it out, the mouth can open up, it can clomp around our chips. I think it's time we go test it out. If you like potato chips, these are legit. Now, with the clip here, it looks like it's gonna need something substantial to grab onto. So it's not just a single fold. What I would do is roll it a little bit, put the Kaiser clip on, engage the cam, and lock it into place. And just like that, the chip bag is closed and we actually learned something along the way. I didn't know Kaiser was the name of the dog and now I do and now you do as well. I'll put a link to this clip down in the description. If you get a chance, print it out and maybe learn a little something along the way. Problems like this, practically solved problems around the house or around the studio are actually really fun to take care of. And I know this wasn't a giant print or a massive print farm project, but it was an issue around the house or around the studio that I needed to solve and 3D printing took care of it. And there's a lot more things around here that 3D printing is gonna solve and I can't wait to show you. And if you wanna see those, make sure you're subscribed. And thanks for making this far because if you did, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, practically print all the things, and as always, high five. Back to work.